Hello Max and here welcome to the 37th video of my EU for Sweden Let's Play. Uh, so during the last video is quite a peaceful video. Uh, there was a few rebellions and I talked quite a bit about various mechanics to do with uh, colonial nations and Native Americans. I'm actually going to be declaring war in this video. It's been a long time uh, since that's happened. I'm going to be declaring war on the Powhatan. Uh, my legitimacy and my uh, religious unity is continuing to recover, so it's not much of an issue anymore. Or at least uh, a lot less than it was. Uh, so I'm actually going to stop moving uh, these a second and group them up slightly differently. I'll put an infantry there, a cannon and a cavalry. These can move over to there. I've got a new colony. Uh, why can't I move that? Not allow me to move that for some reason. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, yeah, I've got a new colony coming here. That one's still getting done. So this is going to form a colonial nation very soon. Uh, right, so let's sort out. I've got cogs coming back here with an army unit. Uh, I could just take these straight over, couldn't I? Yeah, I think I will. Right, so this unit can move back to there. Uh, where's this Deskogen? Right, that's actually in the right place. Supply limit there's 19, so I probably don't want to put any more there. Right, this can... Uh, move to there. And then move to... Uh, this province here. And I'll be declaring war very soon after that. Arguably I should be sticking... Oh, they're at war already. That could be problematic, potentially. Who are they at war with, then? Who's that? Oh, they're at war with these guys. So they could end up conquering each other, potentially. Um, yeah, so I might have to get down here relatively quickly. Okay, so... I think I'm going to get a diplomat back. Uh, so I'll get this... Which one do I want back? Portuguese one? Might improve relations over here if I'm going to be causing aggressive expansion. I think the yeah Munster I might want to stick one into as well. I had to think about what I could be doing with my diplomats in between the videos, and to be honest, I couldn't really come up with much. Uh, there's no real rebellions to support. I don't want to warn anyone or stop them from uh, being in a war or anything like that. So, right, some pause. This uh. Get this war underway. As so they docked up, I'll uh, attach those there. This can go there. I'm going to get a crossing penalty here. Uh, oh, I've got military tech I can spend very soon. Which. Oh, hang on a sec. Oh, they haven't uh, grouped up properly. I'll put those. Back in there and group them up properly. Trade a bag got cancelled. Excellent. There, group this up. Right. Hopefully that will work now. Right, attach. Oh, I only have two cogs. That's why it's doing it. Uh, I'll wait then until those ten cogs come down here and then I'll group them up. Right, stick a timer. Uh, diplomats back from Portugal. I'll improve relations with this nation here. I'm not planning on conquering them straight away. Actually, I haven't... Do I, I don't need to make a claim on these though, do I? Because this would become part of the colonial nation, I think. Uh... Wouldn't maybe straight away, but it would after I've completed Connecticut. Yeah, so I'm not going to make a claim there. But I'll improve relations with that tribe there, because I'm not going to conquer them straight away. Looted, expired. Bag was lifted. What's this? White piece. Where's my so revolt in Livland? I uh, can't see Russian troops at the moment. 
So it doesn't look like they're gonna help out. I'll bring these down here then. Stick my maintenance on a bit. I could even upgrade my military power or military tech now. Uh, there's a new infantry type. I'll wait till it gets to there, I think. Right, colony self sustaining. Inu is done. They should become part of Vinland very soon. I'm going to colonize here next just to uh, complete the uh, loop from there so they can get their troops to there in a bit. You can help me in a war then. Oops. Finland gains core cool province. Send that one there. Uh, okay. I've got a troop here I probably want to go and grab. Oh. It's, uh, some cog ships. I can grab him. Right. Rich Manhattan. You can group up. I could get my conquistador and do some exploring over here, couldn't I? Uh, I can group up. Let's do that then. Okay. Uh, they're off up there. I think I'll leave. Oh, there's two in here. Put those there. Okay. Take the early carrack out. Uh, this can group up. Let's spend my military power. Uh, right, so Spanish square, extra supply, military tactics, and a new infantry type, tercios. Don't really need to do any more harsh treatments. Well, arguably I do, but I'm not going to. Uh, right, so. Put the f full maintenance on. Uh, new t infantry type. So, which one do I want? The most offensive one? Tercios. Firepower on defense and offense. They're better with shock. Uh, morale on defense is better for Tercio. So. What leader do I have? What does he have? Fire and shock he has. Yeah, I'll just do Tercio. Okay. But so the morale's gone. So it's important that I'm not attacked by anyone for a small amount of time. Fleet's there. I'll go and grab that unit. I think the ana the uh so animation, but character model, whatever you call it, graphics change for the troop type. Uh, it can move there. So what's going on in Europe? These can come down to there. Better hurry up as well. Right, so Saint Lawrence. Down to here. And once once the morale's up, I'll declare war on these. Colonization successful. Okay, great. I have to get some troops over there in a second. What was that? Why is that animation? That natives changed as well. It's got again. It's a bit worrying. Um, okay. Right, trade embargo cancelled by Brandenburg. Brandenburg could be about to leave the coalition against me. Which I'm not sure I want, to be honest. Uh, right, so they're gonna. Right, these cogs are back. Move those into there. Okay, this fleet can group up for the time being. I'll move those out to Chesapeake Bay. Those can group up. Uh, how many native... Right, it's 2,000 natives. The question is, how good are they? 
Right, I think I'll... I've only got one cavalry over here for some reason. Messed up a bit probably early on uh, with what I took over here. Uh, so I want one cannon here and I'll take two infantry and these can go and attack those natives in a bit. Why can't... oh, um... Attach there. And move there. How long? 26th. I'll wait until start of next month. Oh, I need to get Diplomat back. Get them both back. Uh, Brandenburg did leave the coalition. Bloomberg's cancel trade embargoes. So I think who's left in the coalition now? Uh, Lundberg is who I want to leave the coalition. Those two are never going to leave. So I'm not going to be able to actually declare war on any of the German miners in this next war, which is a pain. Um, in the next war against... I'll probably make... Probably have a claim war rather than a conquest war for the next war, but I'm not massively sure about it. Uh, right, so. Transport can go there. Gage at Livland. Uh, conversion successful. So, next missionary can go to uh, Farmland. The colonial nation will do Bermuda for me, so I'm not going to do that. Right. Looks like we've got by far the advantage there. So let's see what these military tactics are for this uh, native tribe. It's 0.5, so I don't know why the graphics changed to a gun, but they're not very good still, which is the key thing. Right, so we've won there. Stay there to protect Conley. These can go into that sea zone, and I'm waiting 11 days before I start this war. And uh, if we want at Livland, I'm going to move these back to Varmland. In a day. Right. Uh, what was the last one then? Oh, that's Lithuania, I think. Uh, right, going to be hiring an explorer soon, I think, as well. After this colony, colonial nation's done. Uh, so five days. Diplomats back. Uh, diplomacy, declare war. They're allied to the Iroquois and the Mahican, who I think the Iroquois or Iroquois are up around the Great Lakes, and I don't know where the Mahican are. Uh, call in allies, no, but I shouldn't need them. Okay. Um, if I annex them, actually a claim would be better, wouldn't it? Would lower the aggressive expansion amount in the area, in theory. Uh... But I'm going to wait 120 odd days to get it. I'll just declare war. So, next time I will do claims though. Uh, right, declare war. Finland joins in and Scotland joins in. Army can move across here. Uh, right, put time down a second. Already at 25% for. Uh, blockade. Oh, that wasn't their army. That was their army. Um, that's a problem. Should I declare war on these at the same time? Uh, right, I've messed up here, haven't I? Um, Uh, 
It's almost taken as well. Yeah, I think I'll just help them out with the siege as possible that this nation is gonna take this nation though. So if they do, then I'll probably just declare war on them. The siege time, the quick siege times for the Native American tribes have gone now as well. So, uh, but that's almost done. New trade research is heretical. Heretical. Diplomatic power or prestige. I'm going to take the prestige here. Okay, let's move back. Oh, I'll leave this, see what they do. Right, they annex stuff. <laughs> Right, so I really messed up. Um, the war's over. These can move back to there. I guess I'll attack these guys then. Right, mine are in exile, so I have to move them back. Uh, diplomats back. So, what do I want to do? Do I want to annex the entire nation? I can only make one claim anyway, can't I? Because... Uh, I can't make a claim on their capital, so I think I will make a claim on this territory. So, fabricate claim. Will it reduce it for annexation purposes, though? Not sure. Right, I'll make a claim. Right, 80 days, I'll declare war on these. Means they're going to have a border with this tribe, and then they'll uh, more than likely reform their government, but it's not a big issue. Uh, right. I'm going to keep my maintenance on, even though it's a bit of a waste. Time up. Who are they all to? Cherokee, Shawnee, Pow Potawatomi, and Siskahannock. No idea where they are. Uh, colonization is successful. No exploits, Mohican. I'll be declaring war on these. After that's done, I think, as well. Right. Reach farmland. Diplomats back. And. Right, let's declare war on these. Declare war. Show superiority. No willing allies. All of their allies won't be advanced because there's no one, well, unless one of the colonial powers is colonized around here and there's a native tribe to next to what help westernize them or form their government, then they're not going to be any more advanced. They'll be like military tech three or four probably. Uh, right, so these can come down there. Time down for a bit. Loot it expired. They're off to... Unami. So when do we get there? Seventh, sixth. There's probably a cross. Might be a crossing penalty here. Oh wow! Castile just declared war on England. That's great. Uh, that's an opportunity for me to declare war on England potentially in a bit. Scotland have a lot of troops there now. Uh, so England militarily. Uh, 73 they have 74,000 they actually have more than Castile Navy England 64 Castile 54 so that's very close depends on alliances there England they've got Britain and Venice they're not actually that strong alliances anymore right so I'm going to keep an eye on that there is potential that I may Clear one England if they get weakened enough. New exploits. Oh, so it's the next door neighbours we're at war with. Where was that? Don't know where that exploration was. It's minus one crossing. And the Shawnee. Ok, 
Okay, so we found one there. Let's go on uh right, so yeah, their military tech's rubbish. Let's go on a uh, pay these a visit. Our Tommy and on honored their alliance. So who am I actually at war with? Four nations now. They have thirty-two odd thousand native troops, but they're going to be terrible. Okay, engage your enemy. One point five. I don't think they're all one point five. Okay, wipe them out. Uh, now, if I explore all this territory, the other Western nations are going to find out about this territory over the next 50 or so years. So, I'm not sure if I want to, at least until I've um, colonized all the coasts so they can't get inland. So, I think I'm just going to concentrate on this tribe potentially. Uh, what's that? That's a capital. I may want to take... No, I think I'll take that territory in future wars, potentially. Um, I don't think I need... Not sure what the colonial Casus Belli, how it quite works. As long as I know about them, I should have the Casus Belli, I think. So I don't have to have a border. Oh, we could uh, get to my colony here, potentially. Tenth. Um. We have to bring him over to Connecticut. Tenth of September, where are they getting there? Eighth of September, right, this should be okay. Right, good. Right, I'm going to split. Force here, I'll you have cannon and infantry. No let fort level is one actually, so I only need one thousand troops really, but I'll put that there and they can move there. How many cannons do I have? I might move another cannon back over. Okay. Uh yeah, it's a five, yeah, I put Cannon over to get more of a bonus. Uh, so what's yeah? You can see the cannon artillery bonus here. So level one fort is one artillery per fort, and I think um, you multiply it based. Well, it's always one artillery will give you a bonus, but so if you say have a level two fort or level say you had a level three fort to get the next of uh, bonus, you'd have to have. Uh, three artillery, then six artillery, then nine artillery. I think it goes like. Right, so spread discoveries, Eskibo. Um, right. What's that? Diplomats arrive back. I'll keep them on hand. Not your quest from Helra. Army's taken. Am I going to wait for that claim or not? I don't know. Let's give me province there. Put those over. Actually, those over there as well. No, it's a lake. Let's have a look at this then. A full annexation would cost us 100%. Uh, and so, not sure. Whoa, 100 diplomatic points. Might have to make them a rival or something in a second. 
Polish seal. Spirit Scaveries. Portugal's colonized all the way up there now. It's got, I really want to get Caribbean territory, but it's not looking like I'm going to be able to in time or potential. Get some of it, maybe. Uh, revolt in Osterbegotten. Oh, uh, where's... It's my mission. Yeah, my missionary. I was worried then. I thought my missionary wasn't working. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Seven percent. Oh wow, they've actually assaulted that. Oh, and want it back. Okay, it's a bit cheeky. Uh, it's got to do that again. Attack them here. The bunch of tactics is better than I thought it would be, but it should be fine still. Actually taking a more damage than I thought it would. Okay. Uh, Uh, one there, but yeah, it took a lot more damage than I thought it would. Uh, I haven't won. Oh, perhaps I haven't won there. Right, I have one there. Um, okay. No, group, keep these grouped up. If they, I'm not going to chase them. Let's try and get peace quickly here, I think. Uh, right, so these are off to Finland. I'll chase them down. Yeah, so Native uh, American tribes are definitely a lot stronger than they used to be before Conquest of Paradise. Uh, it's a uh, Narva I've got to deal with. Okay. You there yet? Not quite. Right, so Varmland's done. Right, so next missionary I'm going to do is... I think I do Gotland, actually. It's an island, so it's a bit of a pain to get to. Um, yeah, what's... We're up to 64 now, so I need 80, I think. Yeah, I do Gotland. Here. Right, one in Finland, this can go to Narva. Right. Venezuelan sea has been discovered. How long is this going to be? That's almost done. More discoveries. Connecticut has just completed. I think we might... Do I have enough for a colonial nation? Uh, one, two, three... No, I need one more, I think. Council of Trent. Fulton, Stockholm. Uh, Pope has invited us to attend the Council of Trent to debate the required reforms to remedy the corruption and other afflictions of the church. The council will discuss what constitutes the Protestant heresy and to define the church teachings in the areas of scripture and tradition. Original, I don't know if this is a major event or not. I've no idea. I'm actually going to turn it down because I assume it might. If it is a major event, then it. I probably want to distance myself from the papacy as much as possible, considering I'm Protestant. Uh, okay. Right, so I've got to deal with those in a second as well. Gauge Nava. 
One there, what are they off to? Liverland? Right. Engage them again. Hopefully wipe them out this time. Right, so uh, take care in that province. Right, wipe them out. Still not dead. The Riga. Right, so I can make peace with this tribe now. So, super peace. Phalanxation. That will cause aggressive expansion. It's not saying this. Whoa. A lot of overextension, but I should form a colonial nation. Uh, 15 diplomatic power. Um, why is it so much? Two for each. If I took that alone. That'll be half the aggressive expansion and half that and no no uh, diplomatic power loss. I think I should do that and just declare war on them again in the future. I don't really want to be wasting my diplomatic power. Uh, I've, this will form a colonial nation now because I've got five altogether in theory. Um, so if I take, ta oh wow, yeah, I want their money actually, so definitely going to do that. Uh, do I want to break this up? Probably actually. Get some prestige as well. I don't want them to be a protectorate, trade power. Yeah, why not? Okay, so that's the deal I'm going to do. So send a man. And this should become a colonial nation. In a second. Uh, right. Cassis Bellies. Colonial Conquest Cassis Bellies. And I've got no border with them, so you get that, no matter where you are, uh, as long as you know of them, I think. Right, so this can group up. Right, so hopefully this becomes a colonial nation on the 25th. And it has. Excellent. Right, so Sweden. New Sweden. They're going to be called. I'll just leave it like that. I don't really know of any good names for it, so... Uh, right. So that will become part of... Right, the new Sweden colonial... Well, it's basically all the 13 colonies for America, this region is. And it's including Bermuda as well, though. Uh, right. So I've got a second colonial nation up here now. Uh, the tax base is a tiny bit. Well, tariffs is less, but that's fine. Uh, right. Oh, what are their national ideas? Hopefully, colonial and economic. And they haven't actually taken their... Well, they've got two more to take, I think, there. Because they've got admin 10. So hopefully they take exploration or expansion, but I don't know if they'll do that. They're militarists. That's good. So they may uh, conquer this nation on their own eventually. Uh, okay, so... I'm going to move my army up to here, I think. And then declare war on these in a bit. These are allied to these guys. So that could be a problem. Um, have to figure that out in a bit. Uh, right, so this province, Delaware, Brown Religion, New Sweden's going to have to uh, work on these, this territory. I'll keep them there now actually, and I'll reduce the uh, army maintenance. Uh, I've lost track a bit of time here, but I think it's been around half an hour ish, so I think I'll actually call this. Uh, an end of the uh, video. 
so as I mentioned, I'll be declaring war on them after the, that next colony's done. Uh, I've actually got a settler to do as well, so I'll uh, figure that out at the start of the next video. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.